We're here in Glasgow, Scotland, at the World Tour Finals of Giants Live. We're in Glasgow for the very first Giants Live in Scotland. Arguably, Scotland, the home of strength. So much history, so much prestige. This is one of the classic epicenters of the origins of strongman. Ten of the best athletes on the field, starting off with the Stoltman brothers. These guys are amazing. Unprecedented in every sense of the word. Never before, until then, had two brothers made a World's Strongest Man final. Until then, Scotland had never had a Europe's Strongest Man or a World's Strongest Man. And now, in that family, they have both. Luke Stoltman, 36 years old, and we're born in Scotland. Tom Stoltman, 27 years old, and I'm from the Highlands in Scotland. You know, with Tom and myself doing as well as we have, World's Strongest Man, Europe's Strongest Man, for me, the two biggest titles in the world of Strongman and we're Scottish, so it's only right that we have the, the homecoming. So the five events, the first event is the Nickel Stones, second event is Law Press for Reps, third event is the Axel Deadlift for Reps, fourth event, Carwalk, and fifth event, the Atlas Stones. We're in Glasgow. This is the first time that Strongman has come to Scotland in quite a long time. Far from being merely sporting events, the Highland Games are annual gatherings based on true historical tradition. Back in the early 11th century is when strong, some strength games were recorded here for the first time. Throwing the hammer is a more conventional sport in which the distance thrown is the main point of the competition. So the stakes are high here, the, the trials of strength are powerful, the athletes are incredible. Just what a tremendous weekend. We're going to have some fun and it's going to be epic. First event is the Nickel Stones. Brett Nickel, I'm 49 years old, I'm from Aberdeenshire. The event today is the Nickel Walking Stones. We've got to pick these up, they're at imbalance in weight, one's 138, one's 114. You're only allowed one drop in the 20 metre stretch. If you drop it in the 20 metre stretch, you have to get to the top white line, turn around and come back again. Okay, these nickel stones, I made them five years ago to try and do a quest to walk with the Dinny stones across the bridge. And uh, these are 138, 114 of a nightmare. So event one here at the World Tour Final is going to be the nickel stones. These stones are oddly mismatched in weight. They're odd stones, period. We've got a ring handle coming out of them, dangling from chains, and we're going to have to take them for max distance over a course. Now, this is a grueling event on so many levels. We've got the current world record holder, Andy Black, who's a Scottish lad, going to take part great at this event. We have Andy Black, the giant, the Scottish giant here, who has both records for the indoor and outdoor world record nickel stones. You can expect a high mark out of him. Uh, you've got Adam Bishop, who is super hungry to prove himself on the stones after a stellar performance at uh, Europe's Strongest Man. And you have Kevin Ferris, who we saw at World's Strongest Man with a seemingly unbreakable grip on that massive frame carry. I think he's going to be one to look out for. I'm the old world record holder. I've only done it once, so hope to put in a good distance. And yeah, I, I really see myself kind of coming Scotland. top three in this event. Rip the roof off the Hydro for the Highland! Oh! Such a polished strong man with years of experience. In the last three or four, he's come way up in the sport. He is definitely world class. I like the determination on his face. He's calm and cool, taking really nice steps. No loss of balance. He's doing fantastic. Slow and controlled, steady and successful. The target in front of him. And Luke Stoltman edges down the 20 metre course and he's going well at this stage. Fighting in, biting down, very similar to the... Luke Stoltman was the better of the two Stoltmans in the very first event. And especially when it comes to something that we don't know the outcome, winning it isn't necessarily as important as a solid performance. So for the Highland Oak, he got off to a very strong start. I got 17 and a half metres. I think it put me in fourth place. I was half a metre in front of Tom. Um, and yeah, a little bit behind the, the top three. But the, the top three guys, I think they all um, exceeded 20 metres. Kevin getting a new world record, which is incredible. Um, his first time doing the, the nickel stones as well, which is, which is insane. Kevin, again, Kevin's just a gritty, gritty uh, athlete, and these type of events really suit Kev. One of the hardest events, I think, there, the, the rings just 
squash your hands and um, I wanted to get in the top three as I said but um, yeah fourth I'll take fourth. Second event, the log press for reps. I think it's gonna be a whole new world record because the time limit has been extended to 75 seconds. We'll see just what Luke can do for log press for reps. There's really only maybe one or two other guys in the, in the group that can challenge him, that might be Evan. Gonna be a fantastic event. Second event is log press for reps, 150 kilos. As many reps as you can in 60 seconds, I believe. So I have the world record in this joint world record with Hipsy and Big Z. I've got eight, eight repetitions, so I'm looking to push that and yeah, be out and out my own in, in that world record and win that event. And if you haven't had enough Stoltman action, we got more for you. He is representing Scotland, the Highland of Who? Stoltman. Luke Stoltman, better known as Big Spicy. He's so good with the log, he's got great endurance. He's able to efficiently take the log to the lap position, shoulders, press it overhead, and then release it with not that much energy. His ability in log press is kind of unparalleled when it comes to reps. And you can see the speed from the Highland door because he crashes that log overhead. Technique wonderful, Will. It's beautiful, and it's the way he's setting it down that's so eloquent. He's not wasting any time, keeping his grip on the handles. He's a contender right now for the 10. You told me earlier today that with this additional time, the 75 seconds, we could see something exceptional from Luke Stoltman. And he is roaring through these reps now, trying to pace himself and keep smooth and efficient as he fires the log up and we move to seven reps. His baby brother with nine already. Evan not far behind. He's smoking. It's time for Evan to produce. Get it up and ram it overhead. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Nine repetitions for the Highland Oak. Right over the whistle. Will not count. But you can hear the opinion. Nine reps in the log. Just was a couple of seconds off my last one. Yeah, it would have been nice to get that, but yeah, I mean, getting points, getting good points, that's what it's all about. Being consistent. Um, trying to be as consistent as I can in the deadlift. Get a few reps onto the car walk. Smash that. Yeah. Smash stones. Event two, log press for reps, 150 kilograms. So much was unknown about this. We know Luke Stoltman, when it comes to max, he's incredible. But what's he like when it comes to reps, when it comes to endurance? How fit is he coming into this? Well, it turns out both Stoltmans aren't just strong, but they're brutally conditioned as well. Both completing a new world record and a joint world record for the Stoltman family, no less the nine reps. Luke Stoltman, however, almost got a 10th rep and in fact did complete the 10th rep, but it was just outside the time allowed. Event three is the, is the big axle, the wheels for M reps. We have a 360 plus kilo axle that is going to be lifted max reps in 60 seconds. 360 kilos of pure steel off the ground, you know, so my legs are shaking just thinking of it, but deadlift is my event. Big Tom will be looking to do well, Mark Felix, the legend. You'll be seeing me deadlifting in a suit for the first time ever. I should have got this a long time ago, but it's like cheating, I mean. Take your pick with these deadlifters. Um, I don't know. Don't know which way it's going to go tomorrow, so it'll be exciting. Solid from the world's strongest man. 
And his big brother right behind him and rips it up for the second, Bill. A family feud I see going on here, except there's so much love for each other. This is fantastic. Tom's just motoring. Great power. Come on, Luke, find the power of those legs. Twenty seconds. Tom Stolten hits six. Luke on three. Eight. Come four. on, Luke. This is important, Luke. Get this one. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Aptly, the Stoltmans went head to head. In the end, Tom managed six reps and Luke just three. However, we all know that that's a big weakness for Luke. Three reps, I think he'd take. I'm, I'm just the daddy. And the boys have worked so hard since day one. Luke and then Tom coming under Luke's wing and just beasting it this year. It's, it's, it is incredible. It's unbelievable. Luke's part put his heart and soul into this. I am the proudest dad in Scotland, in Britain, and in the world. Love you all. I love my boys. So after the deadlift event, I was joint second with Evan. Tom was first place with two point by two points. Um, and then going into the fourth event, which is the car walk. Event for the car walk, literally a thousand pounds, 450 kilos. It is a classic strongman event and it just looks damn cool. Uh, 20 meter course, fastest time wins. I'm really excited for this. I got 30 and odd seconds last time. I think I can I can go nearer 10 seconds um, and really kind of go for it. I'm looking to win this event tomorrow. Uh, such an athletic event that requires a great deal of leg strength, foot speed, a solid core, meaning all the way to the spine. And that weight coming down on your shoulders, it's pretty tough to move. It's tough to keep your pace. Speed wins. I believe that I'll be winning this event. I, I look at the... Uh, I look at the, the, the lineup of guys and I can't see anybody outrunning me. I'm, I'm very prideful of my athleticism and my speed and I believe that it will carry me into a first place win for this, for this event. So event number four, car walk, 450 kilos, uh, fastest time wins over a 20 meter course. I just wanted to beat my time in, that I put in, uh, in Europe, which was 13 and something seconds. Um, I couldn't get my feet going in this one, it was, a little bit, it was a little bit off, I got 16 seconds, which was okay, it wasn't the best. Again, I want to improve every time I compete, sometimes that doesn't happen for Humorous reasons, it's quite a grueling competition. Um, watching Evan and Tom go head to head, that was that was pretty special, that was spicy, that was a that was a cool, cool event. I thought Tom was on to break the world record, if I'm being honest. Um, <clears throat> speaking to him after he just kinda I think lost his lost his balance uh, on one of the steps and dropped it. Um, but still a great performance. Like Evan Evan just pipped Tom to the win in this. Tom came second, and I believe I got third in this one. Um, so again, yeah, top three, I'm, I'm happy with that. Could have gone a little bit faster, but we'll take the top three um, going into the final event, which was the Atlas Stones. We have the king of stones here, Tom Stoltman. He has the world record heaviest Atlas stone ever lifted and has the world record on this set of stones. Yeah, I'm very, very, 
very, very confident going into these. People know how they work. 100 kilograms to 180. Knocking out five stones in 16 seconds here. That's just a hell of an order to fill. My training's been unbelievable. I mean, I did seven one motions of 180. Trying to knock out these stones against a juggernaut like Tom isn't it come down to which athlete can one motion stones the quickest, the most accurate, and not have any fumbles down each of these five stones. A single fumble can cost a second, if not more. And that's all the difference that there will be between possibly the top three or four contenders. I believe I was sitting in third place. I think it was two points off second. Evan, Evan was in second at this time. Tom was out in the lead by three points. So, yeah, my mindset going into this one was just do the stones. Just, I said before, I wanted to put in a sub 20 second run. That's what my goal was. Um, and again, as an athlete, all you can do is do what you can do. I can't control what Tom does. I can't control what Evan does. All I've got to do is me and then let the, let the guys do what they can do, so. <laughs> Crucially, Luke Stoltman, a rapid time to see him third. I was hyped up, I was pumped for this, you know, it's the final, final event in Glasgow, first time ever, Atlas Stones, one of the signature events of Strongman, so I wanted to put in one of the best times I've ever done, and thankfully I did that, and yeah, then Evan and Tom went up. And then the unthinkable happened. For what we thought would be the battle between first and second, Evan Singleton, and Tom Stoltman slipped at the same time. That was a strange one. You know, I would have put my house in Tom to do the stones like he normally does. But it just shows you, I mean, we're all, we're all humans. We all make mistakes. Maybe they got a little bit excited. Maybe the adrenaline got to them. You know, it's a lot to play for here. It's, it's the title, World Tour Final. It's basically one of the, you know, one of the biggest titles the first time in Glasgow again. So Tom being a homeboy with a home crowd behind him. Maybe he just got a little bit excited. Same with Evan, I don't know, maybe Evan saw Tom mess up and then the stones rolled off and I don't know. We are on the way! Singleton and Stoneman! Tom roaring into the first stone! There's the second! Three! He's in! And four! Follows swiftly! Almost lost it there! It gets away! Tom Stolman recovers enormous drama in the last event here. Tom Stolman goes for five and gets it. Have you ever seen anything quite like that, Bill Kazmaier? I just wanted to be able to slip in a few words. Don't make any mistakes. Both athletes fumbled on four, and it was over. The champ of the Stones took it. What a race. Ridiculous set of circumstances. We had the stones dropping off and misplacing others, knocking them into the crowd. Unbelievable drama. Again, I can't control what they do. They made a mistake. I can't watch that mistake. <laughs> winners for Giants lives, incredible. I, yeah, I've probably done nine or ten years for Giants. I've come third in Britain's Strongest Man 2019. And then from then, from, you know, from 2019, I've gone full time. I've immersed myself into the sport. I've done everything I can to be the best I can. Um, yeah, I think the proof's in the pudding now, you know. I'm in shock, absolutely shock. Um, I said I wanted to win, that was my, my goal. Um, first time in Scotland. Stoltman one and two. What more can you want, guys? We did it. Uh, I can't even speak, man. First place at Europe's Strongest Man. First place, uh, World Tour Final in Glasgow. In the space of two weeks. It's, um, this is my way to winning World's Strongest Man is by ticking off these competitions, winning these competitions. 
saying I'm the best in the world, believing I'm the best in the world, and showing everyone else I'm the best in the world. So they know that when they go up against me, they're up against the best in the world. And that's what, I'm, that's what I am. I believe I am the best in the world at the moment. And all I'm thinking about, I'm not even joking, all I think about now is being the world's strongest man 2022. That's it. So I'm manifesting that. I'm, I'm putting these things out to the universe. I'm doing all I can. And yeah, let's see what happens in Sacramento next year. I'm Luke Stoltman, Europe's strongest man and world tour finals champion.